I wanted to just do a real quick video. I thought this would be kind of interesting to share with people. Um, no, no real point to this video, not something I specifically wanted to show, any, <clears throat> show anyone or teach anyone. Just something real quick I wanted to share with anyone in case someone found this interesting. But, um, so, uh, yeah, let, yesterday I, um, I, I, I set up a Chia wallet and a Zcash wallet. So I'm running full nodes. And um, I thought this was pretty neat. I'm running these on VMs. So um, I, I launched, a, I have a couple Proxmox VMs that I launched specifically just to test this out. Eventually I'm gonna put them directly on hardware. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I wanted to point out like the performance and stuff like that. So it doesn't look that bad from the, the charts you see over here. Um, basically I created a couple VMs. I only gave a single core to each VM, which I, I think was a mistake being that they're, um, you know, being that they're running a GUI and I should have at least one, one core dedicated to the GUI, but um, I only have four. So this particular Proxmox instance is running off of a Mac, a quad core Mac mini. Um, you know, so I have four cores. It's an i5 3210M CPU, and it's it only has like eight gigs of RAM in it. So I haven't upgraded it yet, but it's not not a whole lot of resources on this this one Mac mini that I'm, I'm running uh, Proxmox on. So um, Anyways, I created a couple VMs. I only gave a gig of RAM to each VM, which is, is, is great for, you know, testing things out on the command line. But um, <clears throat> apparently running any sort of GUI, I know, I know I could come up with something more lightweight. So th this is still a little bit more heavyweight than it needs to be. But um, basically, I have uh, two, two VMs here. And um, <clears throat> so they're, they're both running Ubuntu Server um, 20.04. And they both have the XFCE desktop. Now, I, did, I didn't install the desktop version of Ubuntu, installed the server version. And I just did, you know, an, an apt update and an apt install XFCE, put in the lighter version of the XFCE desktop. Um, it's still, you know, I, I think they've still arranged it Ubuntu style with activities. I'm not sure if this is the, this is how uh, XFCE works these days. I haven't installed it in a while until basically yesterday. But um, I created both of these VMs yesterday, set up uh, set up XFCE on them, and just decided to install a, a, a Chia wallet and a Zcash wallet. So um, right now they're still syncing, and it's going to take a good while for them to sync. But um, they're both running as full nodes. Now Chia was pretty easy. Chia, I I think I had to install like one prereq. It complains that you don't if you don't have it. So basically, just um, you know, do an apt install to install the. The prereq, and then you can just start it right up. So you basically just download Chia and just um, it's it's a deb file. So just do a dpackage dot you know dash i to install it. It'll tell you what you're missing. Install the prerequisite, and then you know install install the package, <clears throat> and then you basically just run the command, and it launches this wallet. It gives you a lot of neat little options to create plots and stuff like that for you know the the Chia equivalent of mining, and uh, has a whole thing for wallets and stuff. But for now, I'm basically just connected and I'm I'm, I'm just syncing the blockchain, I guess. But it, it is pretty neat looking, and uh, I'm gonna see how this goes. So I'm, I'm like 127,000 um, blocks or whatever into uh, 90 966,000 um, block blockchain. So anyways, it's, it's validating blocks and stuff here, which is, I guess it's validating blocks. But um, but yeah, that, that was pretty neat. I haven't done a whole lot with it yet. Um, I, I'm kind of curious to start creating plots and actually what they call farming, the equivalent to mining. Um, I have heard that it burns out hard disks pretty quick, so I'm going to have to figure out a solution for that or maybe just deal with getting hard drives burnt out. I'm not sure how much you would actually earn from this. I'm really just doing it just to play around with it and to, to test it out. So um, so that, that's this guy on the top here, this VM on the bottom here. Um, I'm running Zcash and I'm basically running from the command line. I don't actually need the GUI at all. Now there is a GUI front end wallet that I would like to try out. I'm probably gonna try it on the same machine. I'm not sure, but um, I, I might just clone the machine and create a separate instance because the, the, the GUI version of uh, the Zcash wallet will uh, it gives you an embedded full node so I, I might just clone a separate vm for that and test it out and in the future going forward this full node here this is running zcash d you can basically run this this is just from the command line there's no gui so i i, I don't even need this xfce gui i could get way better performance just running this from a pure command line i could just ssh in and and execute this a, a whole lot um you know it would be a whole lot more 
you know, it would be, be way better in terms of performance because performance is terrible on this GUI. Um, I mean, uh, on both of these VMs and, and not just due to the, uh, you know, r r running these wallets, but I mean, they do use plenty of resources, but um, anyways, yeah, so Zcash, Zcash D, I could just run that from the command line. So it doesn't need this GUI at all. Um, unless I, there, there is another GUI front end that I'd like to try that will need a GUI. So I'll create a separate VM for that. Anyways, um, so I'm running these two. Both of the, these VMs are really, really slow right now. Like they're barely, the GUIs are barely responding at all. Now, before starting up these nodes, they were basically, they're, they're a little laggy, but they're, they're, it's, it's, you know, manageable, something you could kind of work with. Um, you know, I, I would almost assume it's just because I'm, I'm working with them remotely over, I guess, I guess a VNC connection or, or, or whatever this is, yeah, no VNC that you get with Proxmox by default. So that's all fine and great, but um, I, I think it's just because I have a single core assigned to each of these. They're, they're not maxing out the RAM, but um, I'd like to try assigning more cores, even though I don't really have a ton of cores on this Proxmox instance. Um, I'd like to see if I can get more, more uh, performance out of these, but... Um, but yeah, re realistically, I'm going to create an actual environment for these in the future where I, I just run these on actual hardware rather than running them in VMs. But um, yeah, in interesting stuff anyways. Um, poor performance now. Um, could use more cores, um, mo mostly just for running the GUI. O other than that, they work They work great, and it, it is pretty neat seeing these set up. Um, and I'd like to play around with these in other altcoin wallets uh you know, pretty soon. So any, anyways, that's, I just wanted to show people that in case someone found this interesting, maybe someone could comment on this. Maybe, maybe you have your own experience with this. You want to leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I should know. If you know something, I don't know, let me know. But other than that, hopefully someone found this video interesting. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.